got some happy mail from a fellow Portuguese illustrator and I'm going to leave her links in the description so you can check it out. I just love this pigeon, she's so so cute. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog and welcome back to another week. Hopefully this week will be more inks excited if you don't really care about the studio makeover and all that kind of things because last couple of weeks have been very focused on that and settling into the studio and all that kind of things. So this week we are getting to work and I'm so so excited. I can finally start creating again because it has been a couple of weeks like non-stop and trying to sorting everything out and then all everything it's never done when you want to like the electricity took a long time to be installed the same with the internet so this week I finally feel like I can start doing stuff without having like without having so much pushing me back um, so yeah I'm very excited for that anyway let's get the week started I've been answering some YouTube comments because I've been lacking that part a lot um, and I feel like I haven't keeping up with everything these past couple of weeks as I said because of the moving and sorting everything out um, that is always an addict but yeah now i'm going to start packing orders that i had last week and during the weekend for the second sale thank you so so much for your orders reality check it has been like three weeks with no orders so please keep that in mind um <laughs> even though sometimes i show me packing orders and all kind of things and it seems very exciting it's normal to have those down times and moments without any orders no matter no matter how, subs how many subscribers you have or how many followers it's normal it's not just with you if you are going through something like that it's not something you are doing it happens to everyone so i just want to put that out there let's pack them and get everything ready and i can finally print because now i have internet yay <laughs>
Yesterday I managed to package all of these orders. I still have these ones to pack, but I have to restock some stuff to pack them. And I'll be finishing packing that one for Sandra and then I'll go to the post office. So yeah, let's go. Also, this is my lifesaver and I keep talking about it on all the vlogs, but it's still so, so warm in Portugal, so I can only work with the fan on. So say hello to Mr. Fan. I had to go out and buy a scale and how cute is this? This is like the cutest scale ever. <laughs> so cute. now Wednesday and it's already the end of the day what a day <laughs> like there's always something else to go wrong and I don't really feel like filming because it has been so so stressful but I feel like sometimes I don't feel like filming on this um, particular um, parts of the day maybe I'm also guilty of those things that everything goes out perfectly or um, is just super chill in the studio and all that kind of things, like all the good vibes, but sometimes the day it's a total mess. So basically I spend half of the day just trying to figure out my printer. I was able to install it um, pretty easily, like by Wi-Fi and all that kind of things. But then today I wanted to print uh, and yesterday already. Uh, so this basically started yesterday and I only was able to solve it like mid afternoon. So when I was about to print, I couldn't access like the settings that are normally used or even color profiles that come with the printers. Um, and yeah, that was really bother me. I did a lot of research and 
and I couldn't find like anything for the problem then I decided to give up and contact Canon and they basically said it was um, Apple's fault because when they update the, um, the softwares you can't access the printer settings but then I, w I did a little bit more research and I end up calling Apple and they said that it's the printer's fault because they don't update the drivers for the new versions of the, um, of the softwares and yeah basically I installed the drivers around five times and it installed fine I could still install it and download it from the Canon website I could only like choose medium and high quality and the size of the paper basically that was it I couldn't like like any settings I wasn't able to access any settings but I thought okay I'll just install it and install it again and I already that did that before like three or four times it never worked but this time I was just going through all the options and through all the things and there was a thing that I could choose to preferences of the software instead of the air print and I could finally choose the printers um, the printers driver and it worked finally now i can finally choose between like color profiles i can adjust the settings like brightness and saturation and all that kind of things and save those presets uh, so i have a preset for like stickers other for notebooks and all that kind of things so it finally it's finally done but it took me so so long it took me probably uh, like eight hours or more just to fix that and then i had a live with my patrons and everything was fine um, I had everything ready more or less. I just needed to um, Take care of the OBS part that is the software that I do that I use for lives to make it pretty and to be able to um, Show my webcam at the same time that I'm showing like the iPad or something else It was the first time that like all those settings were already done on my Windows PC on the old studio it was the first time that I was using OBS for the Mac and it wasn't working as well like I couldn't I couldn't find the um, iPad windows where I was like mirroring it so the live had to be postponed now it's already 7 p.m. and I finally figured it out so I had to turn on um, on the privacy settings on the MacBook um, so the OBS will be able to have access to like the screen recording and all that kind of things and it's something Something so simple but I'm really not used to like the MacBook and Apple and Apple and all that kind of thing so everything sounds a little bit more confusing even just go to the settings and all that kind of thing sounds super confusing and then I went to cut with my silhouette and I didn't brought any mats so I had to buy one online and I had to pick it up and all that kind of things and I was super lucky because it's really hard to find like silhouette mats here in Portugal especially like in this uh, town so I was really really lucky that I was able to find it but yeah what a day it was just like problem after problem and it seems like it's just minor things but it takes so so long to solve and it's so annoying so so annoying it has taken out of me so much. I'm so, so tired. But I already finished packing the orders that I need to pack, like the things I had to restock, like stickers and all that kind of things. So that is done. And basically it's already Wednesday and I still haven't done anything related to the shopper plate. Also, I ran out of ink on my printer and I also have the inks on the, the old studio. There's nothing else to happen, right? <laughs> So yeah, tomorrow I'll come early to the studio, I'll bring my ink and all that kind of things and we are going to start printing notebooks and stickers and all that kind of things to get ready for the shop update because I really want to put it at least until next Tuesday probably because uh, there's a lot of Halloween stuff and I want uh, people to have time to order and to arrive on time for Halloween so yeah hopefully tomorrow everything will go okay i'm still trying to like settle in here in this new studio setting my pc up setting my printer setting my silhouette so every day i can come here and i want to do stuff fast but it's still everything in the beginning and trying to figure out everything and setting everything up so 
it has been a mess but hopefully tomorrow we can start to work on the new collection finally and start to work on new products which i'm very very excited so yeah hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more exciting so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow stickers are ready i did the switchy one i did the halloween ones and i also did this planet ones and for each design i normally do one of these bigger stickers and then this one is like planner stickers they are the same size but you can see like the difference in sizes of each sticker so while i mount and print these ones i'll mount the notebooks as well i'm just printing stuff out and <laughs> I noticed this. Can you see it wobbling? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I really need to fix this because I'm afraid it will break. I mounted this one like for the studio a couple of months ago already. So I think I need to buy, this is not from Ikea, it's from Le Roi Merlin. So I think I'm going to buy like one X thing in metal they have there. So it won't be so wobbly, wobbly but <laughs> it's just so funny. It's like, it's dancing while it's printing wow <laughs> <laughs> So I had to do some print tests because I'm still trying to figure out like the Mac um, settings and these ones were all kind of wrong and I don't know if you can see like the drawings are like glitching can you see like this and like in here and they always have a line here um, and I know a few people have had this problem and asked me for help so I knew more or less how to solve it it was just basically installing a an older version of the um, the silhouette studio so that is fixed and I also did some tests with other printing settings so I'll have a bunch uh, of seconds and this one it's already perfect i can finally print from the silhouette studio which i couldn't do from windows because the colors will get totally distorted i have no idea why but now they come out perfectly they look exactly how i see them on screen which is super super cool so that is done i can finally start printing the other designs as well but i wanted to try it out normally these designs with like purples and reds and yellows are the artists to get the settings ready so yeah that is done so let's continue printing it's already quite late but i wanted to show you how i'm doing that because if you have a mac you probably have the same problem so let me show you so i discovered that you can install uh, install the two versions at the same time you just have to choose when installing to keep both so basically this is the newer version and this is the older one um, so on the newer one I just basically mount the sheets because when I drag and drop the cutting line it's created automatically so it's so so much easier then I save the file and then I open the older version that is the 4.3 silhouette studio and I print from there and then the glitch doesn't happen and that's basically how I'm doing it so yeah hope it helps <laughs> it has been every day there's something 
more to discover because yeah i'm really not used to work with a mac and with the newer versions with the m1 um a lot of programs are not like dating the softwares and stuff like that so it's like an headache trying to discover like ways of things to work you are having the same problem like your silhouette is glitching when you are printing or something like that maybe consider doing that because with a newer version it's also very very easy to set up stickers because it creates the automatic cutting line so yeah hope it helps <laughs> I hate technology. So my boyfriend works in an office and when he started, I offered him one notebook and it's one of the first notebooks that I ever did. And I still haven't using, wasn't using staples. I was uh, hand -stitch stitching it. Uh, so let me show you. <laughs> this is one of the first ones. Look, this is a trip down memory lane. He just found it on the office when he started. This is one of my first illustrations that I did like that was out of my comfort zone because I was only doing portraits and I did this illustration and these were the first notebooks that I did. It's crazy, look at him. This is the illustration and this is the hand stitch that I did with a colored line so it went from yellow to red so it had like a degradé or something. <laughs> It's nice to look at these things. I have one as well at the old studio, but yeah, <laughs> it was nice to see it. And now look at the other ones and all the illustrations that I already did since then. <laughs> I just want to share that. these are finally all printed so i'm going to have these planet ones then a planner ones that i talked before like smaller ones then these are the um, halloween ones and also a planner one and also the witchy theme ones with the planner smaller ones as well so i'm going to cut them out tomorrow i forgot to show you but i also got a new mat and this is the reason why i hate to buy new mats because they are just sticky but anyway <laughs> i'll try to make it less sticky it's more um it's not so thick as the other ones it's like more flexible but i'm not sure like to take out the stickers it's way better but i'm not sure if i like it because i don't have a lot of space to put the silhouette like i don't have it on a table so this won't keep the shape so I'm still not sure if I'm liking them or not. And also, I wanted to show you that my manufacturer already sent me the, um, the good ones for the witchy theme, so they are not defective anymore. I already tried this one out, so they were ripping off too easily. And this one they already sent me so, because they noticed themselves. I had two others. Um, that came with the same defect but already told them and they are going to reprint them as well but this one's arrived a little bit faster because they noticed themselves so they got around to print them out as fast as they could so these ones will be at full price and then i'll have another 50 ones at a discounted price because they rip off very very easily like if you open them very carefully they won't do it but still i don't want to sell them full price because they do have a problem even though they look okay um, on the outside so yeah this will be all in my shop next week as well as new notebooks and probably notepads as well we'll see about that <laughs>
it's now the next day and I'm going to end the studio vlog here. I'm going to start filming next week's video because since it's a sponsored video, I have to set it for approval a few days after before posting. So I always start to film the week after. <laughs> My Bridgerns always like to know this kind of things and know a little bit more about the scenes of sponsored videos. So I thought I could say it here as well because um, I know it can be uh, kind of interesting to know that kind of things but yeah if it's not sorry <laughs> um, so yeah this week didn't quite go to plan as I had planned basically I was supposed to already have most of the products for the shop updates done but yeah, I'm still settling in and I just need to accept it because I'm still getting used to my computer, I'm still getting um, things installed like the um, printers and all that kind of thing, so um, there's always those kind of problems in the beginning, so yeah, I just need to accept it, it's okay, I already have the stickers ready, I'm going to start cutting them and already start mounting them, the notebooks on the computer, but I'll show you everything next week and all the products for the the shop update i'm really really excited and i'm a little bit nervous because it's the first time that i'm doing um halloween products um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy them but i'll show you everything next week so hopefully you still enjoy this video even though it wasn't as interesting as i hoped it would be but yeah hope you still enjoyed it and i hope i was a good company while we were just chilling or working so yeah i'll talk to you guys very very soon bye, bye.